Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about that I've been on a horror movie binge this year. Now, a couple of years ago, I used to be so scared of watching horror movies like any other person would be. I would be so scared of watching horror movies that I would only watch them like on rare occasions, like whenever the time feels right for me, I would just watch them just because I feel like it. And But now... Oh boy, now I cannot stop watching horror movies. Like, they're, it's like an adrenaline w rush. Like, I used to be too scared of watching them, and now I'm like, can't get enough to where I want to watch a lot of them. Not too much, because I only watch like, what, popular horror movies? Horror movies that have like a good rating, or if I heard about them more often, or if they're mostly like on Amazon Prime or Hulu or whatever, I'll watch them. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, yeah. Sure, I'll watch them. But any other horror movie that like that's like not popular or whatever, I won't watch it. I mean, I'll watch whatever. It is what it it depends on what it is or how my mood is or whatever. How I feel about watching whatever movie pops up on my watch list or whatever. So <laughs> Now, recently, I've been getting into the Saw franchise. You know, the little jigsaw stuff where a person gets into a trap and they have only a certain amount of time to escape from the trap. And they're in that trap for a certain reason. Like, oh my god, I cannot tell you how many times that those people... So there are some people in those traps that don't deserve to be in those traps. Like, if you're skipping work, like, come on. Who, who doesn't skip work? Almost everybody does that. Or if you're on antidepressants or stuff like that, you know, that's kind of like a stupid reason to be in a saw trap. Antidepressants? Dude, like, depression is not something you can easily deal with. It just comes and goes. If you're in therapy or if you're not in therapy, if you take the pills or if you don't take the pills, like, come on. Like, they don't deserve to be in a saw trap just because they're having some sort of mental issue. I mean, it just depends on what it is, but, like, shoot, like, goodness, like, I even told my older brother that I've been watching the Saw movies. He thinks I'm a serial killer. <laughs> I know it's a joke. Ha ha, very funny, but, hey, ain't nothing, <laughs> I mean, being a serial killer, no, I wouldn't want to be, no, I, I get it, it's a joke. I'm crazy if I watch, I only seen, like, what, six of them? Six of the Saw movies, because I heard that Saw 3D, Jigsaw, and Spiral. I heard those movies suck. I heard those movies aren't good. So I just watched Saw 1 through 6. And then when Saw X came out, I was willing to watch that movie. I would even ask my parents, hey, can one of y'all take me to see Saw X? So my dad took me to see it. Now, I would no never go to a movie theater with what um to watch a horror movie because when it comes to movie theaters and horror movies the volume in movie theaters are so loud that I have to cover my ears or get even more scared than usual because of the loud volume in theaters I mean who I mean who am I kidding I would get I would get scared of jump scares even if it's not a horror movie in theaters but still I would never go because of that reason of in, if I would ever want to watch a horror movie in theaters. But now, I had to prepare myself. And besides, the jump scares in Saw X weren't that bad. They were pretty predictable and I had my ears covered. Preparing myself whenever the, the jump scares would happen. And I'm like, oh my god, Saw X? It became my new favorite horror movie of all time. It used to be The Shining. Now it's Saw X. It's that good. It's better than any other Saw movie I've seen. And then after Saw X, I decided to see The Exorcist Believer. Because the trailer of The Exorcist Believer, it's that good. Like, it's really good. But the movie, not that great. I mean, it's not horrible. Not like the Child's Play remake. Ugh, that movie sucked. But The Exorcist Believer, it's not horrible. I mean, it could be better, like, jeez. I mean, I wish it was better, but, I mean, there are some jump scares that got me here and there, but that movie was okay. My mom my mom said that she didn't like that movie either. She thought she thought one of the death scenes of that movie, she, she could have laughed 
if she wanted to. If it was more, if, if that death scene, a certain death scene was more ridiculous, she could have laughed her ass off. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't be too surprised because that death scene where that guy's head was spinning 360, it was so goofy and so unrealistic. Like, geez, use more practical effects instead of CGI because there are certain times where CGI in horror movies or any other movie can work out. And there are sometimes it doesn't work out where it looks too wonky and unrealistic. But practical effects, they're more, they're more, you know, makes things more real, even though they're, what's more expensive, practical effects or CGI effects? I don't know, but it is what it is. Now, the recent movie I've watched was The Blair Witch Project, and oof, that one was pretty good too. Not that many kills, not that many jump scares, but the psychological horror aspect of it, really interesting. Really, really interesting. Now, I will continue to watch horror movies as the years pass. I'm looking forward to watching Night Swim, if that comes out in theaters next year anytime soon. If not, we'll see what other horror movies pop up for next year in 2024. So anyway, if any of you guys like horror movies, let me know. Because I feel like in my family, I'm the only one who likes horror movies. I'm the rare minority in my family that likes horror movies. My mom, my dad, my brothers, they don't like them. Well, my dad really likes thriller stuff. He's not much of a horror gore kind of type of person. He's more of the spine tingling thriller stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.